God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll continue study in the 49th chapter of the book of Genesis. In our last session, we read down to verse 19. Today we will read 19 again and go to the conclusion of the chapter. Before I do, as I always say, thank God for you that are logging on. I want you to know that I do appreciate you and I realize that your time is valuable and you don't have to log on. But thank you. I th also thank those that take the time to let me know that they are watching. It is a blessing to me when you let me know that you're watching just by liking me on Facebook book of following me on the other areas of the internet we actually broadcast from Facebook Twitter Google uh, LinkedIn and uh, other places on the World Wide Web and I, I want you to know these separate entities they all uh, they all are important to me if by chance I get a, a, an email from you and I don't respond uh, please go to my website and resend it because I have mail coming in uh, from so many different directions sometimes I miss it and I want you to know that I appreciate you and I would never overlook you purposely I want you to know that I love you with the love of the Lord well, shall we go on to our study today? We read the verse 19 uh, in our last uh, lesson. 19 reads, Gad, uh, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome uh, at the last. Well, what we were doing, Abraham, uh, uh, Jacob, actually, Jacob, uh, was he called all of his sons together, and he was giving them a prophetic view of what would happen in their lives, uh, giving them prophetic words, speaking blessings in most of them. Uh, well, all of them, actually, he spoke blessings. When a man tells you the truth about yourself, that's a blessing, whether you like it or not. Uh, the message to Reuben uh, was, was fairly good, but not, uh, uh, not perfect. He, he would not excel, his father told him. Uh, Levi and Simeon, he told him that he's going to have to separate them and scatter them through uh, through the tribe of Israel. He had reasons for doing it because he loved all of his sons. He didn't love some more than the other, but he knew all of their spirits and he was saying these things to, uh, to them uh, and their future. Very important. So we began our, our reading today. I just read 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last, letting him know that it might seem hard, but uh, you continue and you will overcome at the last. Shall we go ahead with our study today in verse 20? Out of Asher, his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Here he's talking to all of his sons now. Asher was one of them. Uh, 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 verse 21, Naphtali is a hind let loose. Uh, he giveth beautiful words. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read the book, uh, um, Hind's Feet for High Places. This is a, a, like a ram that can climb all the way to the tops of mountains. And, and uh, uh, that's his domain. He knows how to live there and survive in that uh, that environment. Uh, uh, Naphtali is a hind let loose. Uh, he giveth beautiful words words. Uh, in verse 22, Joseph is a fruitful bow, uh, even a fruitful bow by a well uh, whose branches run over the wall. Well, uh, can you understand that Joseph had always, already proven himself being lifted up to the number two person uh, in the country of, of, uh, of Egypt uh, and then causing all of his family to come and live in such uh, in a blessed, uh, a blessed place where they could survive and eat from a famine. So uh, some of those things, when he talked about Joseph, not only then, but also he's talking about his offspring that would come. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well uh, whose branches run over the wall. Uh, the archers have harassed him and shot at him uh, and hated him. Now that's something. Now, the archers have uh, uh, have harassed him and, and shot at him and hated him. It's something about a person that, that has aptitude, something about a person that, that God's spirit dwells in. Uh, it causes other people to dislike him and hate him. And, and this was the case of Joseph. And so his father is making reference to this. Uh, archers have harassed him uh, and shot 
out at him and hated him. Verse 24, but his bow abode in strength. He did not buckle under the pressure. Uh, he still remained poised. His bow did not, uh, 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 his bow abode in strength. Um, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands uh, of the mighty God of Jacob. Um, from there is the shepherd, uh, the stone of Israel. Uh, can, you, can you see the picture he's given of Joseph? Uh, let's continue reading in 25. Even by the God of thy fathers, uh, who shall help thee, uh, and by the Almighty, uh, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, uh, blessings of the deep that lies under, uh, blessings uh, of the beast and of the womb. Uh, well, he's giving him a full picture of blessings. Uh, the heaven above. Now that, you got to understand what blessings that come from heaven above. Whether he's talking about in the realm that we can see uh, or in the realm beyond where God is. I'll read 25 again. That's a good verse. And by the God of, our, uh, of thy father, uh, whom shall help thee and by it. Uh, by the Almighty, uh, who shall bless thee with blessings uh, of heaven above. Uh, bless thee with blessings of heaven above. Uh, well, what blessings, what greater blessings uh, can come uh, than those from heaven above? Uh, when God himself smiles on you and, and God's uh, hand is on you and God is with you. Uh, uh, blessings of the deep that lieth under, uh, even that that's under the soil, make the, make the ground uh, prosperous on your account. Uh, uh, make that that's in the deep, in the, in the depths of the ocean, uh, prosper uh, on your account. Uh, uh, blessings of, 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 the, of the breast uh, and of the womb. Uh, in other words, even your children uh, will be blessed. Uh, and those, uh, uh, your wives that give nurse uh, to your children, uh, they will be blessed as well. Shall we continue reading in verse 26? The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my uh, progenitors. Progenitors, uh, 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 progenitors, how you can say it either way you want to, but he's talking about uh, his forefathers, or the one that he came uh, in their likeness, uh, those that were before him, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and on back, if you please. Uh, uh, blessings of, of thy fathers have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors, uh, uh, progenitors, um, unto the utmost bound of the uh, everlasting hills. Um, they shall be uh, on the head of Joseph uh, and on the crown of the head of him uh, that was uh, separated from his brethren. Uh, in other words, so many blessings came through you, uh, even beyond all of our forefathers. Uh, here you are, you've been lifted up uh, and made uh, uh, emperor, if you please, or uh, made the second one to the king, uh, prime minister, whatever word you want to use. Uh, God has lifted you up, uh, and that's greater than all of us, greater than me, uh, and greater than our forefathers. Uh, God blessed them, and he talked to them in the wilderness, uh, but but he blessed you even above all of us uh, and put you in a position uh, uh, that you are in. Uh, let's read verse 27. Benjamin shall consume uh, as a wolf. Uh, in the morning he shall devour the prey, uh, and at night he shall divide the spoil. Uh, talking about Joseph's full blood brother, uh, you're going to uh, be like the wolf now. In the morning you'll get prey, uh, and at night you'll divide the spoil. That's a blessing. We see the wolf out there in our mind, uh, but you can uh, you can understand what this man is saying. Uh, in the light, <coughs> please please excuse me. In the likeness of uh, these animals that I mentioned. Uh, you're going to be that way. Uh, you'll go into power uh, and you'll be able to divide the spoils. Uh, uh, verse 28, all of these are the 12 tribes of Israel. And this is that which their father spoken to them uh, and blessed them, everyone, according to his blessings. Uh, he blessed them. Uh, I'm going to continue reading. Uh, and he charged them and said unto them, uh, I am to be gathered unto my people. Uh, bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of, of Ephron the Hittite. Uh, uh, you know, he's, he's letting them know that I'm going to die. you got to understand, we didn't come here to live forever. Uh, and 
And all of us are going to leave this world uh, one of these days. Uh, and here he is preparing his son because his days were, were short. Uh, you got to understand, he had lived a long life. Uh, and now uh, it was coming to the time that he was going to die. Uh, shall we read? We we'll begin uh, uh, read again in verse 30. In the cave that is in the field of Mechpelah, uh, which is uh, before Mamre, uh, in the land of Canaan, uh, with Abraham brought with uh, bought with uh, the field of Ephron, uh, the Hittite, uh, for a possession of a burying place. Uh, in other words, bury me with my people. Uh, don't bury me in Egypt, uh, but take me there uh, and bury me with my people. Uh, in verse 31, uh, th uh, there they buried Abraham's Sarah, uh, uh, Abraham and Sarah, his wife, uh, and they buried Isaac, and Rebecca and his wife, and there I buried Leah. I already got we already got loved ones buried there. Take me and bury me there as well. In verse thirty-two, the purchase of the field and of the cave that is therein was from the children of Heth. I want to be buried in this specific place. Can you understand? Jacob giving his sons directions and instruction what to do to him. Uh, somewhat like writing a living will or uh, uh, writing a will, letting people know what's what and what's going to be and what you want done. Uh, in 33, verse 33, and when Jacob had made an end uh, of commanding his sons, uh, he gathered up his feet into the bed and died uh, and was gathered unto his people. Uh, can you understand? Uh, he'd given instructions. Uh, spoke out blessings, uh, and then after he did what he was supposed to do, uh, he pulled his feet back in the bed, uh, and then he died. Uh, you got to understand, he knew what was coming, uh, but what he did was prepare his sons uh, so that they would know what to do uh, after he died. Uh, well, you got to understand, God, he knows all things, and, and sometimes you can feel yourself, uh, the condition that you're in. I'm sure uh, uh, Jacob knew that he wasn't going to live much longer, uh, so he did it then. And after he had discharged everything that God had told him to say to his sons, he was free to go home then. He was free to rest in the Lord. Well, I thank God for this story. Great story. You stay with us. There is more to come. And God will bless you for, for staying with this study. For those of you that don't know, we're studying through the Bible, verse by verse and chapter by chapter. Keep in your mind and in your spirit that Find the God of the Bible. Remember, I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. If you would like to contact me for any reason, you can reach me at the Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also reach me at my website, www.poemsbychester.com. Com. Uh, anywhere on the web, uh, you can buy our our CD. This is an album that God has blessed us to put out. I am a songwriter and singer, and God is blessing that entity in my life. Uh, if you buy this CD, uh, it will be a blessing to you, uh, and you will be a blessing to this ministry. Uh, all you have to do is just key in my name, punch in my name uh, at Amazon.com, uh, TuneCore, iTunes, uh, or any other places on the world wide web uh, as the artist uh, or the songwriter. It will bring up my work. Uh, remember my name is Chester L. Figure Sr. Uh, punch that in and it will bring you to my work and you will be blessed thereby and you will be a blessing to this ministry. Remember now, if you need to contact me, you can write me the Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200483 uh, San Antonio, Texas uh, or my website uh, www www.poemsbychester.com. I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.